Hello everyone, welcome to the theory class. Today we're going to start with lesson 25. And before we do get started with that, we're going to do a quick evaluation covering lesson 24. All right, here we go. You wanna make sure and write this on your machine, ready? Number one, cork. The cork flew off the bottle. Number two, death. The death of her dog made her sad. Number three, mother. My mother is here visiting. Number four, every. I wanted to try every single flavor. Number five, neither. Neither one of us wanted to go. Number six, there, possessive there, their car broke down. Number seven, also, she is a singer and also an actress. Number eight, weird. That is a weird looking bug. Number nine, brother. My brother is here. Number 10, already. Did you already go? Number 11, truth. Tell the truth. Number 12, always. I am always here for you. Number 13, clothes. Wear your clothes when you go out of the house. Number 14, health. How is your health? And number 15, quirk. She had a strange quirk of pulling at her hair. Okay, so let's look at our board. I want you to look at the steno on the side of your screen there. Read your steno and follow along, see how you did. Number one, quirk. K, long O, R, K. Okay. Number two, death, D, A, E, G, T. Number three, mother, M, A, U, R. Number four, every, E, F, R. Make sure you don't just strike your F, R. That would be ever. Okay, number five, neither, N, long E, R, T. Number six, possessive there, TH final R. Number seven, also, initial L, final S. Number eight, weird, W long E R D. Number nine, brother, B R A U R. Number 10, already, initial L, final R. Number 11, truth, T-R long U-G-T. Number A-L-S. Number 13, clothes, wear your clothes, K-L long O with the flag, final Z. We flag it so it doesn't conflict with close the door. Number 14, health, H-A-E-L-T. Number five is quirk, K-W, short I-R-K. All right. Now, if you struggled with that, you're gonna wanna go back and practice that lesson again before moving on to lesson 25. All right, so lesson 25, our main topic today that we're going to learn with lesson 25 is what we call the medial Y. 
and the medial Y is an exaggerated phonetic sound. Sometimes you have to exaggerate the sound. Okay, so we're using our, our uh, Y here. All right, now you're gonna see that some of these words can be written in one less stroke because we're taking out what's called the medial vowel. So we, we do what's called, it's somewhat of like a squeeze, but we, when possible, we eliminate that medial vowel. So let's take a look at the first line here, with the first two words. We have easier, easiest. If you notice, you when you say easier, you can hear the long E in the middle. The, the medial vowel is the long E, but we drop that. So the only thing we write is easier, A-E-Z. And then we come back for Y-E-R, easier. So that's what we call a medial Y word, easier. Easy yest. So we write it as ease yest. A E Z. Come back for Y E F T. Now it's not wrong. You can't you could write out the middle long E vowel and write ease, come back for E and then yest, but that's adding an extra stroke. So when you get into speeds, you want to save strokes. So that's why we focus on eliminating that because it's possible. Okay, so you wanna get used to that. So it's not necessarily wrong, it's just, it, it will make your writing uh, faster and quicker because you're eliminating a stroke, okay? Let's look at the second uh, line here. Happier, happiest. Again, you can hear the long E in the middle, but we're gonna drop that and write happier, happiest. Okay, so hap, and then come back for Y-E-R, your, and then hap, yes, Y-E-F-T. Remember the S-T, we use the F for the S. All right, then we have heavier, heaviest. Again, you can hear the long E, but we're gonna drop it. Heavier, heaviest. Line four. Now, line four, you have a choice here. If you notice, it says busier with with an I or busier with a U. You can either write it according to the sound or according to the way that it's spelled. Okay, I personally like to write it with an I because I hear biz, I hear the B I Z, and then I come back for Y E R, busier. But if you would like to write it according to the spelling, you certainly can. You can write it as B U Z, biz. Come back for Y E R, busier. Same with busiest, busiest. Uh, write it according to the sound with the I, or you can write it with the U the way that it's spelled, busiest. Okay? Luckier, so we write it as luckier, luckiest, luckiest. Okay? Merrier, we write merrier. Again, we drop that E in the middle. Mary, yes, drop the E in the middle. Mary, yes. Then line seven, we've got serial, and that's the serial number. Notice next to it, we have the serial as in eat the breakfast cereal. There's two different spellings, so we have to uh, decipher between um, the two there. So the first serial, serial number, we're going to write that as S, long E R, come back for Y A L, serial. And then if you notice the second serial, it has an E-A in that. So we're going to follow that pattern. So we're gonna write that as S, long E-R, come back for Y, A-E-L. So that's the difference between the two. So if you need to, highlight those so that they stand out, okay? Then we have aerial. So again, we're dropping the E and writing aerial. Radio, and we're dropping the E and writing raid yo. Notice that our media Y is very exaggerated. Raid yo, R long A D, raid, and then we come back for Y long O, yo, raid yo. Okay, let's look at un yun, O N. Come back for Y O N. Un Yun. Studio. We write it as stewed, long U, yo. Union. 
long U N. Come back for yun. Y O N. Union. Helium. So we write it as heel yum. Furrier. Again, we drop that long E sound and write furrier. Stadium. Stadium. Curious. Curious. Genius. Now, genius is spelled with a G, but it has a J sound, so we're going to use our initial J. J long E N. Come back for Y U S. Gene, yes. Furious. We write it as furious. Humiliate. And again, we're dropping that E there in the middle. Humiliate. Ingredient. And we write ingredient. Again, notice we're writing in as I N. We don't want to use our brief for in because the software will separate that from the word. Okay, aquarium. So again, we're dropping that E sound and just writing A and then coming back for K W long A R, Quare, come back for Y U M, yum. Bacteria, bacteria. Studious, studious. No, pneumonia and long U, new, moan. Yeah. Congenial. Congenial. Interior. Now let's look at that one. I N. Come back for T long E R. Tier. And then your. Y long O R. Your. Soviet. We write that as S long O V. Come back for Y E T. Again, we don't have to flag that because it's two strokes. So yet, you're going to notice that there are a lot of medial Y words in this lesson. It's because we want to give you a broad spectrum of, of words. And um, <clears throat> obviously, the more you get, the easier it will, it will get for you to um, identify and know how to write those. So that's why there's so many on here, okay? Obviously, that's not, you know, you're going you're gonna to find more as you go along, but we're trying to give you a good base here, okay? Um, over on 25.1, word practice continued on the second page. Uh, alleviate. Notice that that's a Y long A T at the very end. Alleviate. And because it's, it's the prefix is A, we write it with the short A. Otherwise, if we use a long A, we're telling the software that we're talking about the article A, and we don't want that. It will separate that A from the word. Okay? Custodian, radius, expedient, cranial, brilliance, retaliate. Notice that we've got the prefix RE, so we use a short E. Adverbial, mysterious, ulterior, why long O R, your, historian, infuriate, cafeteria, so notice it's cafeteria, amphibian, radio is written radio, deviate, now, don't forget, we do use a long E because it's, it's a D-E word. Remember that the prefix words that start with E or D-E, we use a long E so that the software doesn't think it's he or did he. And otherwise, I think it would think that it was did he have. Okay, so deviate, and we, line 26, anterior, Brazilian, Again, we don't have to flag it because it's three strokes. Amnesia, an am, a, a m, amnesia, nij, n long e z, nij, and then ya, y a, amnesia. Ammonia, psychiatric. Again, you can hear that long e in the middle. You just write psychiatric. 
piteous, piteous. Trivial, trivial. Devious, devious. Curio, curio. Pictorial, pictorial. Arterial, arterial. Alleviation, alleviation. Now let's talk about this one. Uh, this is going to be uh, one of those shun words. So we're going to write that. We've got a prefix A words. So we start, start off with short A and then leave, L long E, final V, and then yation, Y long A, G S for the shun. Okay. And let's see here. You're going to get those shun words in lesson 27. So those are coming your way. But you're just getting a little snapshot of it right now. So anything, and I know I've talked about this in past lessons, anything that has a shun ending or a shun sound, we use the final GS. Like information, that's why we use F-O-G-S. Okay, that's where we get that from. Remedial. Now let's look at colonial. There's two different ways you can write it. You can either write it as K-O-L and then come back for long O-N, come back for Y-A-L, colonial, or you can squeeze it by writing K-L, long O-N, clone, come back for Y-A-L. And then you're saving a stroke and then it becomes two strokes instead of three. So again, that is your choice. All right. Then line, line 33, we've got curia, curia. Communion. Again, there's two choices there. K-O-M, come, yun, long U-N, come back for yun, Y-O-N, or you can squeeze it. K-M, long U-N, commune, come back for Y-O-N. And again, it's totally up to you. If you want to squeeze it, you can. If you want to save a stroke. Line 34, audience, audience. Delineate, delineate. Or, again, you have a choice there. You can squeeze it. Initial D-L, delin, I-N. So you're squeezing the D-L, I-N, delin, and then come back for Y. Long A T. Again, if you squeeze it, you're saving a stroke. Obviously, you can't do that with everywhere, but there are some that you can. Okay. Affiliation. So we write it as affiliation. Again, there's one of our shun words. So that's why we're using the final GS as the sun, the shun sound. Then we have delirious. Delirious. Or again, you can squeeze it. D L. I R come back for Y U S. And sometimes I have students that will ask me, well, can I split the word in this area? But because we are focusing on the media Y words, we always want to come back to start out with that uh, media Y. So that's why we do that. Okay. All right. Looking on over at page three, 25.1, you notice that it's continuing. We've got, let's see here, two more pages of words, which is good practice. Copious, copious. Delirium, again, you can squeeze the DL there if you want. Cornea, corn, yeah. Again, that's one of those words where I have some people say, can I just do cornea? But Again, no, we want to do K, long O, R, N, and then come back for Y, A, yeah, cornea. Artesian, brilliant, bacterial, Arabian, Arabian. Again, we don't have to flag it because it's three strokes. Copier, copier, dominion, exterior. Notice that your is Y long O R, media, cardiac, K A R D, card, come back for Y A K, yak, very phonetic and it's very exa exaggerated. Resilient, Indian, 
radiance, radiant, lenient, recipient, premium. The yum words always crack me up because of the, we're literally writing yum. So preem, P-R long E-M, preem, and then come back for Y-U-M, yum. Burial, we're using the U because of the spelling, B-U-R, bear, come back for Y-A-L, burial. Librarian, accordion, stallion, medium, period, affiliate, hernia, so no, notice the way it's written, hernia, trivia, trivia, phobia, phobia, arterial, arterial, mediate, retaliate, infuriate, abbreviate, Jovial is jovial, and podium, podium. Last page, helium, guardian, battalion. Now, this one, you do have two different ways you can write it. You can either do B-A-T, B-A-T, bet, and then come back for A-L, come back for Y-O-N, or you can do B-A, B-A, come back for T-A-L, tell, come back for Y-O-N. You do have a choice there because you're still just coming back for the Y-O-N. Okay, rebellion, companion, reunion, onion, scorp scorpion, notice it's scorpion, radiation, there's a shun word, final G-S, radiation. Retaliation, retaliation, abbreviation, polio, polio, patio, patio. Notice we're dropping that E. We're not writing the E in there. Exterior, inferior, savior, dubious, hideous, tedious, studious, precarious. Hilarious, glorious, victorious, curious, furious, rebellious, obedient, long O there, recipient, luxurious. Now, notice there's two choices there. You can either write it as L U X, lugs, come back for Y U R. Come back for Y-U-S, yes, or you can do L-U-X. Come back for U-R, come back for Y-U-S. The software knows or will recognize it either way. Whether you do a come back for Y-U-R or long U-R, it doesn't matter for that one. All right, 25.2, we've got practice sentences. Focusing on these media Y words, if you look at the second sentence over in line one, it says play the easier course. Course is K-O-U-R-S. If I were to say course, the horse has coarse hair, C-O-A-R-S-E, that would be K-long O-R-S. Uh, line two, second sentence, this route is the easiest. Route, you can either write it as R-O-U-T, the way I write it, or if they say root, you could do R long U-T. Either way works. Line five, second sentence, which carton is heavier? Carton, K-A-R, come back for T-O-N. I've had students ask me, well, how do you write cartoon? That would be K-A-R, come back for T-A-O-N because of the O-O. Okay, line nine, we're dealing with serial, meaning like a serial number, so keep an eye on that. Don't get that mixed up with the cereal that you eat. Same with line 10, now we're talking about the cereal that we eat, so don't get those two mixed up. Okay, again, any words that are plural, you wanna come back for final Z. Same with ING words or ED words, so make a note of that if you you tend to forget. 
Okay, next page, 25.2, practice sentences continue. First sentence in line 19, it says, they say Einstein was a genius. Einstein is two strokes, so we don't have to flag it. So Einstein would be long I-N, come back for S-T, long I-N, Einstein. Line 22, um, second sentence, is Ryan busier than Tim? Ryan would be R, long I, come back for A-N. Tim would be T, flag I-M. Line 24, second sentence. Have you seen the Grand Canyon? Grand will be flagged, G-R-A with the flag, N-D. Canyon does not have to be flagged because it's two strokes. Now, the software may recognize Grand because of Canyon, and it may already capitalize it, but I always say to flag it if it's one stroke so you never, because you never know. You know, it's too hard to know what is in your dictionary and what's not. So if you always tell yourself, I'm just going to flag anything that, you know, is one stroke, um, that's a proper name, then I know it's going to come up automatically. Okay. All right. Looking over at 25.3, we have some new briefs. So today, we're going to cover somebody someone something everybody everyone everything anybody anyone anything nothing and nobody so let's look at somebody somebody's going to be initial sm final b someone initial sm final n something initial sm final g pretty self-explanatory there everybody we know the brief for every is e effer so everybody, we're adding the B, everyone, E, F, R, N, everything, E, F, R, final G, okay? So E, F, R, final G. Anybody, so we already have a brief for any, N, I, so we're adding the B, N, I, B for anybody, anyone, N, I, final N, anything, N, I, final G. Then we have nothing. Nothing is going to be N-O-G. Nothing. Nobody. N long O-B. Nob. And then down below it says note. No one is written out. No one. N-O. Come back for W-U-N. Don't get that confused with W-O-N because it, the software will think it's one as in I won the race. W-O-N. Okay, 25.4 is a brief drill. So uh, just separate those with the comma. 25.5, we've got some practice sentences focusing on our new briefs. If you look at the first sentence, it says, ask anybody that you can. We can phrase that you can. T-H-A-U, final K, that you can. And then you'll see it again in line three. Ask anyone that you can. Again, underline that or highlight it. That you can, T-H-A-U-K. Uh, line 13, it says everything is not lost. Don't forget lost is L-O-F-T. Loft, the kids slept in the loft would be L-A-U-F-T. Okay. Looking at the next page. 25.5 continues. Again, if you notice in line 23 and 24, you have, again, no one, and that's just practicing no one. N-O, come back for W-U-N. We're just having you practice that. All right, 25.6. We've got some consonant compounds focusing on final N-G, final R-M. So final NG, final RM. If you have to, go back and forth. NG, RM, NG, RM, NG, RM. And, and go back and forth until you feel like you really have it down. So we have ring. Rang. Rang's going to be a long A. Rung, sing, sang, that would be a long A. Song. Lung, long, hung. Hang would be a long A. Sling, slang, slang's going to be a long A. 
Bang, bang's going to be a long A. Bong, just write it with an O, even though it has an aw sound, it's spelled with an O, so we keep it with an O. Dang, dang is written with a long A. Fang, again, long A. Gong, G-O-N-G. Ding, dung, tong, king, thong, fling, sting. Now on the final RM words. Harm, alarm, alarm's gonna be A, come back for L-A-R-M. I do get students sometimes they'll say, well, can I do A-L? No, we don't want you to because that's a word that starts with an A, prefix A. So you just write A and then come back for L-A-R-M, okay? All right, so alarm, farm, F-A-R-M. Storm is a long O, storm. Term, firm. Now, worm is a short O. We don't say warm. I get that a lot. Is that a long O? No, it's not. W-O-R-M. Germ, that has a J sound, so we keep the J. J-E-R-M, even though it's spelled with a G. Germ. Form, long O. Dorm, long O. Arm, perm. Norm, long O. Warm, it's written just like it's spelled, W-A-R-M. It's not a broad A, we don't say wall. Okay. Swarm, again, S-W-A-R-M, it's not a broad A, we don't say swarm. Charm, sperm, affirm, again, A, come back for F-I-R-M. Squirm, S-K-W-I-R-M, squirm. Berm, disarm. D form, now you're gonna use a long E for D, so the software doesn't think it's did he form. Okay, so D long E, come back for F long O R M. Reform, again, form is a long O. Ear worm, A E R, come back for W O R M. 25.7 are practice sentences that focus on these new consonant compounds, and if you look at uh, line five, second sentence, it says, I wish I were king. Don't forget that we phrase anything with was, were, I were, I-R-P for were. Um, and then line 10, she lived in the dorm. Dorm is a long O. Line 11, what is the norm? Norm is long O. The last sentence in line 12, what germ caused the illness? Illness is going to be Y-I-L, yil, come back for final N-S. Okay, we have to do ill, Y-I-L. Remember that? If we do I-L, our software thinks it's I will, I will ness. No, we have to write ill is Y-I-L, yil, ness, final N-S. Okay, so that concludes lesson 25. So I will see you soon in the read back portion of the class. And I want you to do this at least three times, preferably four or more. All right, good luck, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye, and have a wonderful day.